Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Twist and Shout. Uh, for the beginning part, the part that goes like this, it's going to be open A, and then uh, B note, which is uh, second fret, fifth string, then move that up two frets, and then to a D chord. So, and in the D chord you only want to play these five strings. Then you're gonna add your pinky on the fourth fret on the fourth string, like so. And then you're gonna go into a G bar chord. You can also play it like this. Then move that up two frets to an A bar chord. And then you're gonna play an A7. So full speed, it sounds like this. Also, there's a little shortcut that I do sometimes where I just go on the fifth fifth fret and I just play A, then a B note, A, which is on the fifth fret on the E string, and then move it up to the seventh fret on the E string again, and then to the fourth fret on the fifth string. So you could always go back down and play. I mean, it's the same notes. So, so far we have... Or like this. And what I did there was, when I went... I just went right into a type, if you know what an A-type power chord is. You're doing a power chord, but barring your fingers and not playing the E string, so. But I would just, if you're going to do the, the, you should definitely do it down here. So, and for the part, the, the build-up thing where they go, that part is pretty much just an A bar chord, so. But you're just, or power chords are. And you can play A7. Which you're just moving it up. If you play an A7 without your pinky, and you don't play the bottom string, 